Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves and today I'm excited to go through this shave as I'll be featuring a brand new product to the channel. One I've been waiting for quite a while, but let's go through the familiar products first. Gillette's Slim Adjustable with Treat Platinum on its third use on setting 5. Now this razor and blade has been very nice to me. Um, yeah, just smooth, efficient, um, takes care of the stubbles. Overall, very nice combination. Um, yeah. Although, hmm. Now that I notice it, I feel like one side of the razor is slightly taller than the other side. Yeah, which is kind of, hmm. It feels like this side is slightly lower than the other side. I don't know if you can tell it on the camera. The blade gap tends to close up here. But it, it's, it's still shaving nicely, so... Regardless, I haven't had uh, much of a trouble. Maybe it'll shave like a slant, because it's kind of slanted in that way, but... Whatever, it is what it is. And a return to an amazing soap, Sterling Barbershop. Now, when I smell this today, whoo, it's like a powdery sweet, ah, goodness. I really didn't enjoy it at first, but that's with most of the soaps, but this one, I'm really um, liking to enjoy it. Um, but the reason I picked this, because I wanted to match it, with a this new product that I got and I know that this one works well so here we go what is the featuring product the Samog Owners Club I believe this is cherry wood and look at that knot I love my Samogs and I believe this one is one of the best Samogs available out there uh, that is Merely an opinion, but I've heard a lot of good reviews about this and a lot of not good reviews also. That this is too big, this uh, eats up lava. But since I know what to do with um, uh, lather eating boars, I'm gonna follow the similar technique and try it out today. Alright, I have a 24 hour growth today, not much to work with, but still something. So let's begin. Alright, I've been soaking this brush for maybe 20-30 minutes and it is dripping wet. I'm gonna shake it up for three times. One, two, and three. Still pretty wet. Uh, still got plenty of water inside. And let me start loading in. <clears throat> now I think one of the earliest um, shavers that use this brush. Uh, I believe that was um, Michael Friedberg, uh, Cadensor on Reddit. But yeah, he he uses brush a couple of his videos and it looked nice. Um, back then I was pretty satisfied with what I had. So, um, I mean I'm still satisfied with what I have right now. But um, yeah, just being immersed in that boar obsession um, I had to pick this up got it for a really good deal um, so what I do is I usually wait for a great deal on these um, good products, quality products and then I jump in when I can and this one was the same situation for me so I got a great deal on this and now I'm using it alright ooh that looks Pretty good. Um, there are some holes as you can see. So let me load it slightly longer. <clears throat> I have tons of lava flowing through here. All right, still a bit of hole, but I think that'll I think that'll do for today. All right. Yep, filled with lava. That is what I like to see. In. All right, let me just wet my face a bit. All right. 
Okay, let me clean up this lava. Hmm. Oh, this is so slick. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna drop this. Oh man, this one is a messy one. <laughs> I usually like to keep my shaves or like shaves clean, but when it comes to bores, I gotta load it heavy with kind of that using that Marco method. And this tends to happen where I get all this lava flying everywhere in the soap. Gotta clean it off. Um, definitely a bit of a longer process, but hopefully uh, this will be worth it after the shave. But yeah, man, this is, soap is so slick, so creamy. Uh, I almost, I was almost um, hesitant in using or buying more sterling or using more sterling because I do get slight irritation or allergic to maybe the lanolin, um, but I think as long as I don't keep it on for like an, plus an hour or so, it should be fine for me. All right, that looks good. Let me clean off the rest of the tub. All right, and that is good to go. More lava in the face. All right, could definitely shave with this, but not an ideal lava. Now the brush, ooh, still a hole, but I didn't wanna overwork this thing. It's still good, like 40, 50 seconds of loading. So here we go, let's start lathering. Ah, first time using this beautiful SOC, Smug Owners Club Cherry Wood. Mm. Still plenty of water. I feel it on my skin. Just paint it on first. Hmm.
<laughs> wow. Just wow. It does shed a bit. I see a hair hanging down the side of my neck, but wow, this brush is might be one of my favorite brushes. This <laughs> I know this I got this used, but it feels broken in already. I've shampooed, conditioned it, unconditioned it. Um, let hand, uh, bowl that out a couple times, but my gosh, this one feels comfortable. It, it's a, it's on the bigger size for the knot, but not not crazy big. Um, it feels more controlled than the Omega One Zero Zero Nine Eight, and just a lovely brush. I'll definitely be using this more often. Um, just loving it first to begin with. All right, here we go. Let's get on with the shave. First pass through with the grain. On setting five, slim adjustable with treat platinum. That feels so great. Oh man, the combination, sterling combination with slim adjustable. This is wonderful. Light pressure. No need to put extra pressure on this razor. Just slide it right off. And there is a bit of blade feel, but it is still very mild. I love it. This might be one of my favorite razors too. Yeah, this is works very nice. Great first pass through. Um, remove a lot of the stubbles. Very slick. Love the soap, love the brush, love the razor. Just a overall very nice shave. Let me rinse this off really quick. Now my sink is full of sterling lava, so I could probably shave right now because it's so slick. Sterling, I love sterling products. Products. <sighs> it's a great day to be alive. Here we go. Second pass with this. Ooh, look at this lava fill. This should be enough for second and cleanup. Look at that. Now there is zero scritch. It almost feels too soft for me, but it re reminds me of a Zenith in a sense, the Zenith B10. But this one has um, slightly more scrub, I would say, 
but it's very minimal. Here we go, second pass through. Great lava to work with. I think this is a pretty good consistency that I like. A bit gluey, a bit on the dry side, which uh, gives it a good slickness for me. Right pass across the grain. Look at that. It's gliding smoothly. Wow. This definitely feels a lot milder than my Razor Rock Lupo. I've been using that for almost a month. And this definitely feels a whole lot milder than that. <clears throat> which is I like which is the reason why I like mild razors. For the Lupo, I feel the blade a lot more. But it's not overly aggressive, so... I like that one as well. Alright. Perfect. Let me rinse up and go for a cleanup. Alright, still pretty slick. Man, I think this is this brush is definitely a soap eater. Cause uh if you want to finish the soap. Just lather with this one because it uh, picks up a lot of soap. Look at that, plenty to work with. I think more in general uh, eat up a lot, just to load a lot more soap than the usual. But here we go. Let's try the scent. Oh, another hair, small one. This one, um, <coughs> she had a bit of hair in the beginning, maybe. Out of the three hand lathers or bowl lathers that I did, um, shed maybe 15, 16 hairs. But now, once I'm actually using it, um, it's only shed one or two. So that's a good sign. Here we go. Whew. It's a good start. Now I could squeeze out the lather here, but I think I'll still have plenty without squeezing it. I like this lava because um, I still have one more pass left, even with this, so perfect for me. I like to have one more pass left just in case, but here we go, clean up pass. Across the grain. Ooh. Smooth. Barely any blade feel. And even though this is a adjustable, I might just enjoy these lower settings. Just put them here. Because even on seven basically shaved the same except there was more blade feel and I don't like a lot of blade feel so I think I'll stick with five or lower all right here we go oh wrong way
Okay. Another double chin pass. Careful not to even though this is a mild razor, still gotta be careful with not going too willy nilly. All right, now that is what I call a darn fine shave. Really smooth. You can see, still see the tips of the hair, but because that's because my skin is light compared to my dark stubbles. But overall, amazing shave. Yeah, everything in this shave, um, I kind of, envisioned to be amazing and it turned out amazing so <laughs> all right let's go through the products really quick gillette slim adjustable with treat platinum on its third use on setting five amazing razor mild slight blade feel but takes out does the job very well and sturdy barbershop smells amazing sweet powdery scent not gourmand but Kind of that old school sweet scent, slick, creamy, works well. And the brush, Samog Owners Club, still got one more pass left. Uh, this one did a great job, just enough loft and not that I like. <clears throat> Eats lather slightly, loads a lot of soap, um, comfortable on the face, feels broken in already, soft. A uh, slight scrub, but very mild on the face. So I'm gonna be using this more often for the next couple shaves, and we'll switch between uh, my other new Samoga as well. But ah, that's a lovely shave today. Hope you guys enjoy your shaves because I have great shaves in the future. And this is Tim Shaves, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.